This is Amit Maldonado from the Gem and Panther team here at Prolifix. Today I'm going to walk you through the process of downloading and configuring our latest version of Panther, Panther 5.53, on a Windows machine. I will show you how to access our downloads from our Prolifix FTP site. Again, this is our Panther Development 2, which I'll show you how to download. Then we'll walk through unzipping the files, installing, as well as configuring it. This is the URL for our FTP site, ftp.prolifix.com. Log into it now. Reach out to us and we will provide you with credentials. Once you're logged in, you should see three folders there. And what you're looking for is the Win32 folder. If you're looking to install Panther 5.53 for 32-bit. If you're looking for 64-bit, you access access it from the Win64 folder. So let's drill into the Win32 folder, and you'll see the zip file 5.5300.07. This is the 07 build. I will download it. Right, once downloaded, let me open up my download folder. I will see the zip file here. So go ahead and unzip this file. Extract it here. Right, once it's extracted, open up the folder and you've got your different folders under the main folder here. This will be your client, Comp Client 553 install. So if you're looking to install the development tool, you will need to drill down to this folder and run the setup file. This will be the web product. If you're looking to deploy your Panther application on the web with a browser-based front end, this is what you will need. And the rest of these folders that say PRL, PRL, INF, MSS, these are all your database drivers. So this will be a driver for Informix, Microsoft SQL Server, ODBC, Oracle, and Sybase. So if you're only looking to install the client and maybe the Oracle driver, you will only need these two folders. So let's go ahead and install the client. Drill into this one and run the setup file. I'll just hit next. Creating a new installation. And I will be installing it and right on my C drive, my Panther 5.53 folder, 553.07 folder. Hit next. Now, this will be a typical installation. If you all, that includes samples, tutorial files, and um, .c files, and so on. I would recommend this install. If you're looking to install documentation, then you would choose custom, because the custom will, in, will include typical, files installed with a typical um, setup as well as the documentation. Um, of course, your document, our documentation is available on the web under docs.prolifix.com, but if you choose to have documentation local to your machine, you could choose custom. Now, if you choose Compact, Compact will only provide you files needed to run the development tool. It will not include any of the C files. So we will choose typical. Hit press next, next. All right, just, it's just complaining about the path. It's too long, but that's fine. Keep going. So it should take about a minute or so to install all the files you've, you've picked. Um, this is your license configuration part. For now, we will skip license configuration. It is set up. Excellent. So if we go to our location, which is really our SM base, that's your base directory, Panther 5.5307. Notice you've got your config folder, include JDB, lib, licenses, link, notes, samples, and util folder. All right, now for licenses, what I, all you have to do is email the support team, support at prolifics.com, and we will send you a 45-day license file. 
let's go and open up the Panther development tool without acquiring the license. Let's drill into the util folder and look for ProDev32. There you go. Notice our new Panther logo. Let me open this guy up and um, should get an error message. Panther license manager cannot find license file. Okay, no problem. So I have a license file that I will grab from my temp folder. Oh, I'm sorry, it's in my download folder. There we go. Here we go. And I'm going to drop it in my licenses folder. Paste it here. Now, go ahead and rerun my editor, product32.exe. And all right, it's complaining about um, Java set pod not being enabled. It's because I have not, um, I, it doesn't find a JVM in my configuration. So now this can be configured, configured in your smvars file. And what you'll need to do is, um, let me just show that to you in your smvars file. Remember your smvars file is an ASCII file. When you make any changes to it, you will have to convert it to binary. Here you go. In your smvars file, you'll have to set sm java library to a jvm.dll. So you have to just point this Give it the full path to your um, JDK or GRE, which contains your JVM.dll. Save this file, go out, open up your command window and use the utility called var to bin to convert this smvars file to the binary version of it. Then restart Panther. That would do the trick. All right, so just, just a warning, Panther opens up. Notice our the new splash screen actually that opened up initially, and our background. Um, also, notice the the flat menu you see here. Let me go ahead and create a single line text field. Look at the three D modern looking widget. Let me create a few single line text fields. Let me go into test mode here. Notice the widget that's in focus has got a a blue shade around it. Well, blue because that's my my setting on my my windows. And for push buttons, again, you've got this 2D effect, very modern, very compatible with all your Windows 10 type of applications. We go into test mode, and as you hover over your push button, notice it shades. Right, def definitely, this is definitely a way modern look and feel. Uh, well, that's all folks. If you need to download the Panther product, let me know. Email us at support at prolifix.com and we'll be happy to send you the link. Thank you very much.